Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles. I'm here to show you there's a new feature in version 8 that allows you to re-import your exported tracks. Let me show you how it's done. So what I have here appears to be a normal session, but in reality I have DI guitar and bass tracks with MIDI drums from Superior Drummer. I know a lot of you guys out there like to use virtual instrument plugins, and this will be a great way to free up some CPU load in your session. So let me go ahead and bypass the Amplitude plugin, which I have the Slow 100 model caught up and it sounds great. But this is what the DI guitar sounds like. So I know it's not very inspiring, but with the Amplitude 5 plugin engaged, this is what it sounds like now. And this is what it sounds like with the guitars, bass, and drums. So that is a great sound, but I do want to commit these sounds to separate tracks and also free up some DSP in the session. So what I can do is go up to session and then export. And I'm actually going to do a stem export. So our time span is going to be for the session. You do have the option under selection actions to select tracks or buses. So you just make your choice depending on what you want to do. So now under file format, we want to make sure it's the same bit and sample rate as your session. And under label, I just labeled these stem, and I'm gonna call this revision one. So down here on the bottom, we have a new checkbox for re-import exported audio. And just make sure that's checked. And now we can go ahead and export. So now if we look at the bottom, we have brand new tracks that stay mono if the original track was mono and they stayed stereo if the original track was stereo. And we can now play this back. So it sounds the same as the original, but without all the extra DSP on the track. So let's go to our original tracks and we can highlight these. And we can right click and choose deactivate and then highlight them again and choose hide. So now we don't have to worry about seeing or worrying about all the extra DSP from the plugins on those tracks. We can just work with our newly created tracks and keep the song going. So if you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe down below and click the bell. And until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles. I will see you in the next video.